Good morning. It is a little bit before 7 a.m. here in Dyersville, Iowa. I'm at the uh, park here in Dyersville. There's a nice, it's about three quarter mile loop of sidewalk here around a pretty flat area. Perfect time for a 5K time trial and a great way to test out the Atreyu artist. Five K time trial today, 19 minutes, 25 seconds, which is a PB of several seconds for me. So very happy with the improvement there. Averaging six minutes and 12 seconds per mile and 174 beats per minute on average for heart rate, which is crazy when I think about it. Going for a first run in The Artist. But before I get into my thoughts on Atreyu's latest shoe, I do wanna go over some disclosures. This is a pair of shoes that was sent to me for the purpose of review slash testing, maybe. I'll get into that. Uh, but they're not paying me to use this shoe or to make this video, and they're not gonna get a chance to preview any of my footage or my thoughts before you guys get a chance to see this video on YouTube. Now, with the disclosures out of the way, let's talk about Atreyu's The Artist. Now, I mentioned that I got this shoe in for a review slash testing, and that's because this isn't the final version of the shoe. There still is some testing that they still want to do with this. They tell me that the shoe is pretty close to the desired outcome of what they want. So it very well may be the final version of the shoe, but it's not final, I guess, until it's final. So right now the shoe isn't final. So I guess these are more testing notes than their review. But in either event, I took this shoe out for 5K time trial. Let me tell you what 
it's all about. So what they have in this shoe is TPE in the midsole foam. Uh, and there's a bunch of it, 24 millimeters of stack height in the forefoot and 30 millimeters in the rear. So it makes it street legal for any of your road marathons coming up. Not that I think it really matters for most of the people watching this video, uh, but just so you know, it does fall within IAAF standards. Uh, there is also a carbon fiber plate in here, a full length carbon fiber plate from heel to toe in kind of the standard, uh, what Atreya calls the modern classic slope design where it comes from the heel all the way to the ball of the foot and kind of cups underneath there. And there is uh, an additionally a five millimeter sock liner which is non-removable in here and just one millimeter of outsole rubber. Now this is I think Atreyu's first shoe with outsole rubber in it because the regular Atreyu's don't have any outsole rubber at all. You just run directly on the midsole foam. Here they've kind of gone away from that and applied one millimeter of rubber. I don't think that you could put less rubber on it than that. As far as the upper goes, we have the same upper that we've seen. If you've run in an Atreyu's shoe before, it's the same upper. They just ported it from that shoe onto this shoe. Uh, and I think it works really well for a racing shoe. Uh, the fit is really nice on the regular Atreyu and on the Artist as well. Uh, very snug, fits my foot really well. I really do enjoy the fit. The standard Atreyu always kind of struck me as being like a daily trainer shoe with kind of like speed shoe aspirations, especially in the way that the upper fit a little bit more tightly, not in an uncomfortable way, but in a very snug and kind of speedy kind of way. Back in the heel, there's no structure in here. It's just completely floppy. And that really works for me on this shoe. Ever the material just kind of hugs like the, the heel of my foot and uh, just sticks on. I have a hard time taking the shoes off even in the normal way, way that I do, which is I normally just kind of slide my feet out of each shoe, but I definitely have to untie the shoes because everything just fits so well. And uh, that was a very welcome kind of fit and feeling on this shoe as well as I was taking out for a 5K time trial. The other thing that they are going to be testing in this shoe is potentially putting p backs into this midsole rather than this TPE to see if that performs better. But right now, this version that I have is TPE. And what I found was that it's a material that's very soft, very bouncy. It crumples kind of a little bit. Crumpling is not the right word because that like kind of it's like sharp edges, but it kind of like compresses and crumples a little bit. And then that uh, carbon fiber plate lifts it back out of like that compressed state and gives you a nice, very pleasant like bounce with each step. So a uh, very speedy feeling shoe. I was able to get through the 5K, uh, at least in terms of the foot strike and gait cycle really well with the shoe. I really enjoyed running in it. Fantastic, powerful feeling coming off with each stride. I felt like I spent most of my time right here in the midfoot of the shoe. So like the design, that six millimeter drop with the carbon fiber plate, it all was really working well for me in terms of being able to race in this shoe. And the shoe's only 6.2 ounces, which is just a ridiculously light uh, uh, shoe. There's just nothing to it. Um, I don't know how you can fit the carbon fiber plate and this much stack height and the upper that's on here and still have it only weigh in at 6.2 ounces. Pretty amazing. Uh, and it felt like 6.2 ounces on there. So I just felt like I had all this midsole foam uh, with nothing weighing me down. So kind of, I kind of like thinking of it like the power to weight type of ratio kind of analogy. Um, the shoe just really propels. So I feel really good in it. That one millimeter of rubber on the outsole had me a little bit concerned because I felt like I always talk about like shoes need to have less outsole rubber. This maybe takes it a little bit too far, but the amount that they have on here seems right, at least for conditions today. Uh, I was on sidewalk running around a couple of soccer fields. Uh, I wanted to have a flat track. Uh, I'm competing in the trial of miles cross country competition. It's a virtual race where you have to do a 5k uh, with no more than 50 feet of net decline. So I found a fat, flat space down in Dyersville to do this. Uh, running on sidewalk, so essentially a couple of right angles. The upper kept me locked in really tightly on all those turns. And I even had to hop onto the grass periodically because there were some joggers, dog walkers out there in the early morning. Uh, the grass was wet from morning dew, but this one millimeter of rubber did the job, kept me on there, was able to get right back onto the drive pavement or 
concrete from the sidewalk and continue going. So I felt very sure footed. Uh, it seems like a tall shoe. It looks like a tall shoe, but it didn't really run like a tall shoe at slower speeds. Like my warm up paces, it felt like a tall shoe, but as I was racing in it, that kind of all went away. And even on the turns, I didn't feel like I was in a tall shoe at all. So it felt very secure felt very planted in it. I think that the shoe that I can com most closely compare it to would be the New Balance Fuel Cell TC. It also has a pretty high stack height and it has a material in it that the material midsole foam itself feels somewhat squishy, somewhat soft, but then when you're running fast on it, you really feel it like kind of crumpling underneath your feet and then that carbon fiber plate pulls you out of like the mushiness and springs you forward and keeps you moving. But this shoe, the Atreyu Artist, uh, weighs in at several ounces lighter than the Fuel Cell TC. Uh, it's got a lot much more stripped down upper than the TC does. I feel like they're very similar with, I think the advantage coming to the Atreyu Artist because of the fact that it's only 6.2 ounces. It, it's amazing feeling to be able to have a carbon fiber plate and this much cushion underneath your feet at this light of a weight. It's a pretty amazing combination there. I like it so much that it has me thinking that I wonder if this is a shoe that I can run in like frequently. Now, today I had it for a 5K time trial and the one kind of critique that I could have from it is that I kind of wished at times that the carbon fiber plate were a little bit more rigid, that it took a little bit more to compress it because then as it decompressed, as I was picking up my feet or pushing off with my feet, it would give me more back. So I wanted a little bit more of like a ping back from that carbon fiber plate, at least for this 5K distance. I'm looking forward to taking this on a longer run with some maybe some marathon pace running. And I think there the carbon fiber plate will probably be just right. But I haven't done that yet. So testing definitely is going to continue. Uh, and I'm gonna test it at some like regular everyday paces as well because I just really liked just warming up in the shoe felt really great So I just feel like it could probably work as a daily trainer I'm not sure about that yet So hold off before you start thinking that this is a daily trainer and a racer all in one I'm not sure the other thing that has me concerned or at least I'm curious about at the moment is how well this entire package is gonna hold up and continue to perform at this level is this a shoe that's only gonna last me for a couple of races or is this a shoe that's gonna be able to last me for a couple hundred miles? Again, I'm because I like the shoe so much at a variety of paces, I'm gonna be putting a lot more miles in it. Not because they asked me to test the shoe for them, but because like as long as I got the shoe and I like running in it, I might as well run in it and see what happens to it. So we'll be able to see what's gonna happen to this uh, one millimeter of rubber over some more miles. And I'll be able to give some more feedback in terms of how does this shoe feel to work at not only 5K race pace, but what about 10K pace? What about tempo or threshold pace? What about half marathon? And what about marathon pace? And then even slower than that at kind of easy paces as well. I'll try them all let you guys know what it's like. If you wanna see that, hit this, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you'll know when those videos come out. Now, let's talk about some like potential delivery dates. Now, I mentioned that this is a shoe that's still in testing and this is a pre-production unit, uh, but they're telling me that the shoe, they're hoping to make it available Q1 2021. So by the time that we're gonna get some hopefully live and in-person marathons next spring, maybe we'll get them you'll have some new shoes or you'll be able to get a pair of these shoes uh, in your hands as you start getting ready. Um, so that's the anticipated delivery time. But the astonishing thing for me is that they're gonna try and sell this shoe for just $100. And that's absolutely insane. Um, it makes a, me a little bit less worried about like overall kind of durability because they're selling it for just a hundred bucks. It's just a crazy price. I'm not sure how they're able to do it. And I'm also not sure how they're able to do it at that price while still packing in this much performance into the shoe. I think it's quite an accomplishment uh, that they should feel really proud of because the shoe is good. I really like it. Um, and if they can sell it at that $100 price point, that's amazing. Uh, they wanted me to also clarify that uh, I think they previously were thinking that this was gonna be available only to subscribers but they wanna get this shoe in as many people's hands as possible, and they also wanna make sure that they're making it widely available for IAAF rules. Uh, so you won't have to be a subscriber to be able to buy the shoe at 100 bucks. I don't know if they're taking pre-orders or what right now, um, but uh, when they're able to sell this shoe for 100 bucks, I think that's gonna be 
an amazing deal. Because even if it ends up not being the shoe that you race in, it would definitely be a great shoe for you to do a lot of your hard training in. So your faster long runs, I think the shoe is going to really work. I'm very excited to continue testing this shoe uh, and see really what it's made out of. So I'm excited for that. If you have any questions about Atreus, the artist, put them down in the comments down below. I'd love to keep talking to you guys about there. I'll tell you as much about it as I can. If there's a question that I can't answer now that I've made this video, I'll, I can reach out to Atreyu and I can talk to them and kind of get some more of their thoughts and some of their insights. If that's something that uh, we need to do, I'd be happy to do that for you guys as well. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks for, make, for making it all the way to the end of the video. Hopefully you guys are staying safe out there on your runs and I'll see you in the next one. Yo, what's going on?